Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you for joining me in the final station, and we are playing the DLC for the game, The Only Trader. If you haven't checked out the first episode, go back and check it out. Let me give you a brief uh, synopsis of what has happened so far. We are this gentleman right here. We finally picked up our pistol at the end of the last episode, right over here, next to this den gentleman. And we are driving this car. In order to move on, we need water, which we've gotten, food, and gas. Now, unlike the main game where you have a train and you bring as many people as you want, we're only allowed one passenger. So right now we have, I think his name's Harry Green. Uh, he was from our first, first uh, for the, our apartment complex, and we've been sticking with him. We made it here to the a factory where we thought we'd get into the shelter and... The shelter was closed, so now we're going to go ahead and start heading off to the next area. So let's go ahead and hop in the car and see where we go. A little bit different play style, at least for this part. So instead of a train, we're in a car. Uh, here's Harry Green here, dot, 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 dot. It's kind of dark out. Like maybe they're just tired. I don't know. Is it locked? Well, yeah, it's locked if you're talking about the shelter. No, DS. I just felt like going for a ride. No need to fly off the handle, Peter. Okay, so our name is Peter. I don't know if we knew that beforehand, but we definitely need to write that down. I'm writing that down now. Why the F would you build a shelter then lock it right up in front of me? Now we saw that elevator with the, the potties hanging off. It was a little, a little macabre, but that's okay. So an interesting mechanic, like I was saying, is we have to pick, pick our passengers. So where are we supposed to go now? Bristol, there's another shelter there. So we've had two people we could have picked from, our old boss and a guy we found in the movie theater. I think his name was Michael. Um, they won't be waiting for us. So again, they're, it sounds like we're working our way towards Bristol now. Therefore, we need to hurry up and see if we can get to the shelter there before they, they slam the door shut on us. Now, I want to go ahead and see if we can craft ourselves a, a first aid kit. So we got rags, we got pills. We don't have enough to make that yet. So let's go ahead and back out. Uh, we could go ahead and make some... Oh, nope, we don't have enough for pistol ammo either. All right, so let's go ahead and pull into our next place and see what awaits us there. Ooh, I like that car engine there, that, that sound effect. So let's, let's see what Peter needs to do here. Nice parking. All right, we're going into the Washmaster. We've got some friends here. So Peter has a baseball bat. And oops, and there's our acid spitting friend. I want to go ahead and shoot him. There we go. Perfect. All right. And let's uh, let's go down this hill. See what else we got down here. There was a market once here. All right. So we can go down there. Let's uh, nothing there. Let's go up here and see what we got in this building. Quite a bit, it looks like. All right. So we got an explodey fellow there. Let's see if we can. Well, I missed that. Let's see if we can shoot him. There we go. Let's get him close to everyone here. And he knocked out quite a few people other than this guy here. Um, let's see if we can knock him out. So we've, we've seen two new enemies. This guy here that crawls. And then those spitty guys. So you just got to take them out appropriately. All right. Anything up here to be looted? Oops, this box here. Some pistol ammo. Very nice. We'll take that. So we got our revolver loaded up and ready for bear. Go over here. Looks like we got our water. Open this door. We're out on the nice patio in the nighttime air. All right, let's go over here and hop down this ladder. Looks like we can loot this car. We got some scraps. All right, there's the end of the map on this side. And now let's head back underneath this. We got two spitters and this guy. So let's. Oops, okay, so they can't spit through their friends. Oops, but they can if we kill them. Reload. Oh, they are doing some damage to us. And now we are out of ammo and at half health. Hopefully we find some, some more ammo and some more health here soon. All right, we got to be careful here. Uh, there, ooh, golly, we are, we are dangerously close to not doing well here. All right, let's go, go up here. Um, okay, one of these slow guys, we can knock him out. All right, down he goes. Smash this window, nothing in there for us to loot. Uh, okay, come on. Okay, nothing, a toilet for us to throw. Um, I'm not gonna carry that all the way. Let's go up this way and see what we got in the laundromat. 
At least we found the water. Really, I like to find a health pack here. All right. Anything in here? Okay, some pistol ammo. We'll take that. Really need a health pack here, guys, as we make our way through this laundry mat. Med kit, beautiful. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Let's heal Peter up now that we know his name. Some coins. All right, let's check up here. There's our food. Some windows to smash. Some whiskey and glasses. Smash. Oops, let's go ahead and read this first. What do you think of this order of the advent? Now, we talked a little bit about the advent in the first episode, so if you haven't if you don't know who they are, go back and read up on that. What's there to think? They're your run-of-the-mill con artist. Yeah, but my wife says they make some good points. What are you talking about? If the government tricks us and closes all the bunkers, where are we? What are we going to do? Well, what do those brainiacs of yours suggest? They're building their own shelter. Okay, so maybe we'll end up in an advent shelter. Interesting. All right, down here we go into what looks like an apartment complex of sorts. Um, the tunnel will be ready by Tuesday. We can begin the operation at night. John has the explosives and bags. Don't forget the painting. That's your main goal. Ah, someone's going to do a little robbery here. All right, we'll smash this wall open here. And smash this wall open there. All right, so now we're into whatever this is. There's our gas. Ah, the explosive. Okay. And that means we got all three things, but let's head up this way and then we'll see what else is going on. Looks like they blasted through here. We got a guard here. Ooh, 200 money. There we go, drop him. Empty, okay, we can't reload. Looks like a heist. Some money and rags, camera up there. All right, up here we go, open this. Let's check outside first, it's locked. Okay, one of the slow movers. Let's take care of him. Smashy, smashy. All right, let's see what this note says. Notification. By the order of Armin White's administration, the current exhibit is hereby closed insofar as it represents the dissemination of anti-government propaganda. District Attorney Reynold Krieg. Huh. Okay, we got some paintings in here. Um, okay, someone there. Someone there, we can't look at that one. Uh, ooh, I wish we could read that list and it tell us who's who. Uh-oh, here's a gentleman we can talk to. Uh, exhibit A1 and A2. Vermin White's letters were presumably addressed to Christopher Thornton, who worked in the oil and gas industry at the time and also co-owned some of the biggest casinos in the country. The letters contain detailed discussions of potential conditions for collaboration. All right, who do we have here? Dot, dot, dot. If you're trying to hide there, I can see you. I think you're right. All right, Brandon Reed. Well, we're sticking with Harry Green because he's our, like I said, our OG ride and die. We're going to stay with him as long as we can. I don't know if we'll ever be able to drop him off or if this is like a to the end thing. We'll trigger the flamer. Let's see, well, he's only going to take out that guy, but that's okay. Now let's knock this guy's helmet off. Oops, we shot Oof, we missed both of those. All right, let's punch this guy out. I'm a little rusty on combat in this game. I need to get a little better here. An exhibit by Alex Medum, The Exposure. After decades of research, historian Alex Medum is presenting his reasoning and evidence that he claims will reveal the real face of the council. The exhi exhibition consists of dozens of photographs and paintings, as well as archival documents from the times of the first visitation museum board. All right, so let's go this way now. It's in here, uh-oh, we do not have any pistol ammo to take care of this guy. Let's see if we can get him from like an angle. All right, we need to get around you somehow, friend. Let's see, let's see if I can like bring him this way and then we can go up and around. Cause we can't shoot you cause we have no ammo. All right, up and uh, hopefully there's ammo on that guy down pistol ammo fantastic all right we'll open that door and let's go back and shoot this guy in the head and down he goes great all right so let's go this way now out of the museum and i believe there's a house or apartment complex here we need to work through all right these 
darn acid spitters. They are something fierce, huh? Why are you running away, friend? There we go. They take up a lot of ammo, too. Whiskey, glasses, CDs. Some showers. All right, let's head upstairs. Need another first aid kit here. And, well, I guess we have it. Hey, you! You bastard. Where did he go? Stop. Do I have to fight these guys? Oh, we do! Oh, wow. Okay, we didn't have to do this in the original one. It was just zombies. We didn't have to fight people at all. Uh, like the infected were enough. And now this. Agreed. Smash that window there. Okay, I wonder I wonder if those were the, the robber guys? I don't I don't know. Interesting. Well we got our water, we got our food, and we got our gas. Let's go ahead and head back towards our car and get the heck out of here and make our way towards Ristol. I think we were able to loot everything we needed. A little low on health. Let's go ahead and heal up as we walk back. We'll take that. Perfect. And into the car we go. Everything is ready. I can go now. Yes, yes it is there, Peter, now that I know your name. If you've been enjoying this video, don't forget to like it. Comment on down below. It's not too late to tell me what you think is going to happen now that we know that group is called the Advent. Uh, how did everything go? Not bad. Listen. What do you know about that sect? I run into their hubs all the time. Again, that's the Advent. You mean the Order of the Advent? Well, they came by once. You let them in? Yeah, why not? They just wanted to talk. And what did they say? They said they're building their own shelter. Yeah, I already knew that. Anything else? They said I could go there right away. It's somewhere in the mountains. So it sounds like if Ristol doesn't work, we might be going there. So they are gathering people of some kind of base in the mountains. And that didn't sound suspicious to you? Well, no, not really. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, they seem pretty decent to me. Okay, that's all Harry's story. Let's do a little crafting here before we drive into the next thing. We can't, we need two more pills to make a med kit. And we need some more gunpowder, so we're still out of ammo. So let's go ahead and pull in and see what happens here. Resource management is a little more trickier in this game, it seems like. I'm glad we don't have to fix the car or anything, because I think that was kind of annoying on the train. Uh, where you'd have to go and do whatever, and it just interrupted the story, and I felt like I couldn't get into it. They tore the whole city apart. Oh my god, they did. All right, let's go do some looting here. Uh, okay, a chair to be picked up. Throw it at the little guy here. We'll... Beat these guys up, and down they go. All right. Well, there's no window to smash there, because there's no wall. But we can smash this window over here. Got some pills, got some rags. That's good. All right, let's see what's in the back of the restaurant. The cook, oh my god, a survivor, hello. What happened here? The city was razed to the ground. Please, get me out of here. I'll tell you everything. Well, Matthew Sanders, I'm sorry, but we're going with our original guy. Let's go over here. Okay, down he goes. Down you go. Let's go over here into this basement. Pick up this box. I'm guessing we're going to be throwing it here. Oh, okay, a spitter. Let's um, bypass you for now. Hopefully we find some ammo upstairs. I don't understand why are you writing to me again. If people are building homes in Sector Zero, they need to be evicted. That's the council's job, not mine. All of Sector Zero will be destroyed by the shockwave from the Guardian's launch. I notified you of this back when Metrop Metropole was still being designed. Now it's your problem. Martis at T. Huh. Interesting. Okay, we were at 
Metropole. No, I didn't know why the goddamn council stopped building the wall. I'm just a simple architect. And my job was done a long time ago. Leave me alone. Okay, this guy sounds just pleasant to be around. All right, ooh, some pistol ammo, good. Smash out that window. We'll take the toilet because we're gonna throw that at someone here in a second, I'd imagine. Ooh, first wall, zone zero, guardian. So this this is, uh, looks like a plan of Metropole. Interesting. Quantity. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that photo. Um, I can't smash that window out. And I don't have anyone to throw this at. Uh, please terminate my client agreement with mailing service uh, Cascus Mail, Martin T. All right, still nothing. I'm going to have to come back and smash these windows after we throw this toilet. Because I'm going to throw it at someone. We picked it up. All right, let's go this way now. Open this door. Down the ladder we go. Please be someone in here. Oh, I just want to throw this at someone. There's our water. Go down. All right, we're going to... I do all that just to throw it at the wall, really. All right, um, after studying your dampening device, I'm thrilled that you chose to become an architect because your knowledge of electrical engineering is deplorable. You cannot connect two outputs to one another. That's electrical engineering 101. Uh, I fix everything and you'll try to activate it today. All right, well, let's go up here and as promised, I'm gonna smash these windows out because it wouldn't be a tooth and scrubs game without smashing out some windows. I would shoot that one out, but I'm going to go ahead and save my ammo, because I, I need that ammo, it seems like. Uh, we'll smash that out. Uh, oh, we were at that one. Smash that out. All right, back down we go. Let's go over here, see if this is unlocked. That is locked. Our spitter friend there we'll have to take care of on our way out, but that's okay. There's the map of Metropole again. Down here. And down here. All right. Let's see what's behind this door. Up, oh, just a stairwell. Uh, these guys are gonna try and. Uh, it's a shame that the city suffered so much. They were resisting. We had to take action. I think it's not a big deal. We didn't plan to use the train station railway. Huh. Okay. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Hey. Okay, my eyes are red. Peter's eyes are red. Their eyes are white. What's going on? Did they get hit with the gas or something? Well. Come on, just go. Why won't this guy die already? There he goes. All right, and we'll punch this guy out. There we go. Reload. Um, these batteries are not powerful enough to dampen so much as a walkie-talkie. How are you planning to work with orbit, orbital signals? You need to consult with a doctor, not me. Believe me, retired architects aren't exactly the most important people in the world. What could you possibly know that's so important anyways? That's not very nice. Not very nice at all. All right, let's go into the basement here. Um, oh, I should have shot that barrel, but we'll just take care of these guys the old-fashioned way. I wonder if this flashy line is supposed to be anything? Or it might be my computer, I don't know. All right, well, let's keep going here. Here's our gas canister here, so we still have to find our food. Into this little duct here. Down here, there's a body. Poor guy. But we'll take his scraps and gunpowder. All right, well, let's go back up and then explore the other side of the map. We're still looking for food, but we got everything else. We got our gas, we got our water. Got some pistol ammo too, that's nice. We're gonna leave the chef behind. Goodbye, friend. Let's go see what we can f dig up on the other side. Looks like there's a train station over here. Huh, where have we seen trains before, guys? Uh, pistol ammo, pants. Um, I think we've been in this train station. Wait, what map, what level is this? Have they said the name? Yeah, we've been in here before. Oh, this is, um, is this Bristol? I don't know, but we've been in here before. I'll have to, we'll have to go back and look it up. Let's grab this box here and throw it and these little guys are very annoying so are these guys too I'm just not doing well haven't died yet but I'm I'm trying guys I'm uh, we might be a spitter here reload 
Okay, there goes the spitter. Thank God. Police box. Wow. Yeah, they really did something here. All right, flaming guy. Please don't blow up near me. Blow up down there. I wanted to hit the guy with the helmet, but that's okay. And down he goes. All right, so that's cleared up. That clock fell. That used to be suspended up there. Yeah, we came through here because this is where that security checkpoint was. Does that still work? It still clicked. So many wagons, but no locomotives. There's our food. Okay, a hatch down there. They collapsed that part of the building. Uh, yep, okay, so we are in Metropole Upper House. To John Breen, head of the Central Station, blocker code. Ah, <laughs> oh, they brought it back. I'm glad. I'm glad we've seen some maps here. So we are in Metropole. I thought we were, we were in Bristol, but okay. All right, let's knock all these guys out. I don't think, were we down here? No, there was like a secret government lab down here, wasn't there? We've been down here before. Damn it. All right, let's hit this flaming guy. Let's get out of here before he hurts us. Go boom, dude. I don't want to mess with you. All right, reload our pistol here. And Okay, nothing here. So we got all three things we need. And let's go back this way now. Can't go up there. TV we can grab. Take out that guy. Oh, yep, we were down here. I remember this room. Okay, drop him. Go ahead and reload here. Let's knock off his helmet. Okay, spitty guy. All right, we're just gonna have to rush him here. All right, and let's heal up here. All right, pistol ammo. We'll take that and some gunpowder. And God, please don't come out the door. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, and down those guys go. Anyone coming out that door? Nope. All right, and back up we go through the hatch and we're back to the car. So this was Metropole, huh? It's interesting to see it. So after the Guardian launch, is that what he was talking about? It just ripped all this apart. But then those guys in the basement were saying they, the people in the city were resisting. I, I, I just, I don't know. So who who knows? I see a window we missed. I'm gonna walk up there and smash that out while we're finishing up the episode here. So if you like the video, com or like if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. Comment on down below. Things are happening and things are happening very quickly. Interesting things. I'm glad we are back here in the final station. I think a lot of you enjoyed this. And if you want to get all this great content on time in an early fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. So I'll see you guys in the next The Final Station video.